Finding the distances between two points doesn't always require us to make dimensions. Sometimes the, the knowing uh, measurements uh, is all we want. And to do that, we're going to use the distance tool in this lesson. And on my screen, I've got a site plan for a proposed restaurant. And let me mention that it's a civil engineering example, so each unit uh, represents one foot here. So let me zoom a little here. I want to measure the width of this parking stall here. To do that, we're going to have to use the distance tool here. And the distance tool is in the utilities panel of the home tab. You can click this fly out here and choose w any one of the uh, distance tools. We can uh, get the measurements uh, of the radius, the angle, area, volume, any other thing that we want. For now, uh, we can we want to use the distance tool, and we can launch that just from right there, which is default for now. And going to snap it to this point and to this end point and as we see AutoCAD gives us the distance which is 9 feet and I'm going to press escape to get out of that now let's measure the depths of this stall I'm going to launch once more end point and the only way to make sure that your measurements are accurate is to use the object snaps. End point. AutoCAD gives us that the depth of this stall is 18 feet. I'm going to press escape. Let's take another measurement here. I'm going to zoom out a little. And let's measure the width of this uh, drive through okay great to do that I'm going to launch the distance uh, by pressing the spacebar and selecting the distance and I'm going to shift and right click and select the Mirrors, object snap, and from there I'm going to select here. I'm going to shift and right click and select perpendicular from that list. I'm going to click that, and AutoCAD gives us the, a distance of 12 feet for that. And I can click this exit button right here, or I can press the escape button on my keyboard. And taking a measurement one by one is okay, but uh, what if you wanted to? Uh, have a cumulative measurement of a building or anything like that. Let's for example assume that we want to have the perimeter of this uh, uh, proposed building and to do that we're going to launch the distance icon right there and uh, Let's select this outer edge, outer corner point here, and take a look at my uh, command line here, which says specify second point or choose a sub option, which is the multiple points. And I'm going to right click and select the multiple points, then select the other one. Uh, notice that uh, whenever we select another point, AutoCAD. It adds the measurement to our current measurement. 31, okay. And then this point here, this point here, this one. And I'm going to right click and select close. 
AutoCAD gives us a distance and that is uh, 235.69 feet and we're going to press escape to exit so if you want to take some measurements uh, in your drawing you could use the distance tool and you could avoid the making unnecessary dimensions uh, in that drawing.